Good day! Welcome to Simple Maths! Sa video na ito, babahagi ko sa inyo kung paano ako mag-present ng aking lesson online. Gamit lamang ang mga usual built-in application na meron sa mga computers. Sa pamamagitan nito, makakapag-present tayo ng maayos at clear sa ating mga estudyante. High quality presentation, just like what you can see in your screen right now. Okay, here's how you do it. Gamit ang PowerPoint, gagawa tayo ng online blackboard like this. First, isiset muna natin ang size ng ating blackboard. We go to the design tab. Then, we navigate slide size. So, we click that one and we will choose widescreen. That's 16 by 9. With this size, ma-maximize natin ang screen for our presentation. To change our background color, we click format background then we have to choose solid fill and then select the color that we want for this time we are going to choose black why black because we will have many options later on sa magiging kulay ng ating ink but when you make your own online blackboard you can choose any color that you like you can be creative and make use of different color combinations with black as my background, I am using light colors for my text. So, for example, sa aking problem 1, ang ginagamit ko ay color white for my font. Our main objective in creating online blackboard is for us to give a clear and easy to follow presentation for our kids. And then choose the font style that you want. For this presentation, I am choosing ink free. And then, adjust ko ng konti yung size. I'll make it um, 32. Okay, I think that's enough. And then, I'll make it a little bit thicker. Okay. To make it more personalized, lalagyan ko siya ng aking logo. So, maybe for you, you can also put your school's logo. Just go to insert, then click pictures um, for this time. Lalagay ko yung aking Simple Maths logo. I noticed na mas maganda if tatanggalin ko yung background ng aking logo na white. So to do that, I'll go to picture format and then click remove background. When you click that, you can see purple areas. Ibig sabihin, yan yung mga area na hindi included sa final appearance ng logo. So we'll adjust a little bit and then click keep changes to remove the background. Lastly, we'll place the logo into its perfect spot. I think pwede na siya dito. We'll click the presentation icon to have a preview of our online Blackboard. One of the great features of PowerPoint is that meron siyang built-in writing tools. So you can choose from different colors of ink na pwede natin gamitin sa pansulat. I always choose light colors for my ink since my background is black. By the way, I'm using my mouse in writing and I find it easy and I'm comfortable with it. In the actual lesson, ang ginagamit ko ay instead of Microsoft PowerPoint because in Paint 3D, I have more options on what writing tool am I going to use. I can also insert shapes, um, 2D or 3D shapes. But if you are comfortable with PowerPoint presentation, it's okay. PowerPoint is also a great tool to present live um, problem-solving lessons. Alright, before using Paint 3D, I'm going to save this uh, slide as an image. So I go to Save As and then maybe I can rename it as Problem Number 1 black background below the file name we can find the file extension and we will save it as jpeg
saving it as an image, I'm going to open Paint 3D. So, on my search box, I'm just going to search for Paint 3D. Then, I will select New. Next is to open our online blackboard in this canvas. So, to do that, I'll go to Menu. And then, I'm going to select Browse Files. Then, select the image that I have saved a while ago. So, this is now our online blackboard. I'm just going to customize the view by zooming it in to 85%. Before going live for my problem solving lesson, I make sure that my Paint 3D is already opened. Then I'll go to the share screen option. I'll click the basic and then select the Paint 3D window. For me to be able to customize my student's view, I'm going to choose a um, portion of the screen. And then finally, click share. Once you click the share option, we can see a green rectangle that indicates the portion of the screen that the students can view. We can actually customize it. But for me, this is already okay. I want my students to see only my online blackboard and not the tools that I am using. In Paint 3D, we have a lot of writing tools that we can choose from. Personally, I like the calligraphy pen because it makes my hand writing way better i can also use different colors for my ink to emphasize um, the important points of the discussion by using 3d paint you can also insert two-dimensional figures and three-dimensional figures these are very useful tools in presenting our geometry lesson as you can see in your screen, I am using different colors. With black as our background, it makes us more flexible and it gives us more options, more colors to choose from in order for us to provide clear and easy to follow solutions. In my live classroom presentation, I love to use different colored ink for me to emphasize my point. By using Paint 3D, I can do that virtually and with ease. As I was making this video, I realized that this method can also be used in art classes and any other subject that requires live writing presentation or illustrations. Right in your screen, I'm showing you the virtual blackboards that I have made and I have used in my online classes. The presentation of our lesson is the body of the teaching learning process. Kaya napakahalaga na makapagbigay tayo ng clear at easy to follow instructions. At maa-achieve natin to using technology in a creative way. The good news is we don't need advanced skills in this technology. We just need the basic skills because along the way we'll get used to it and we'll be more creative and effective in doing our online presentations. One more thing, hindi na natin kailangang mag-download pa ng extra tools or to subscribe in paid applications online. We can use and maximize what we have to make learning fun, attractive, and effective. If you find this video helpful, you may give me a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and click the notification bell to be updated for my future contents. Maraming salamat!